Dog Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking. This afternoon we're going to be doing some grilled chicken and uh, some turkey burgers here on the Y640. And we are going to use a new pellet here. This is a lumberjack char hickory pellet from lumberjack. It's kind of a, let me show you what color it is. It's like a black color, dark gray pellet. Look here. It's got some little bit of charcoal in it, I believe. But this is supposed to really give you a higher temp with even heat because we're going to be cooking like 375 or something like that. So this will be a good pellet for this application. Put them right here in the hopper. And uh, again with this char hickory from Lumberjack. Cool looking pellet. And uh, I'm going to cook some steaks with it later this week. I think that'll be good. So anyway, just put the char hickory in there. And let this roll about 375 come up to temp. All right, y'all, I got the burgers right here. I put a little Plowboy's Yard Bird Rub on there. And we'll put the burgers on the Y640. I'm going to put it on the second shelf in a minute. Get some of that chicken. Okay. For the burgers. Alright y'all, now I've got these boneless skinless chicken thighs. I've got some of that Sweet Smoky Joe's for your chicken rub on there. That's the Sweet Smoky Joe's is what I use from a company that makes my crawfish boil. They also make some rubs too if y'all can see that. Uh, but let that marinate overnight. Now let's put these chicken thighs on there. Just try to get them all on here. If not, I might have to use the second shell. It'll just take a few minutes. There we go. I was able to squeeze them all in there somehow, but uh, we got all the burgers and the chicken on the grill. Just let them roll. All right, y'all. We're about to see if this stuff needs flipping. Now, look, I've got those cut-resistant gloves that I have underneath these rubber gloves. That's what I use my flip stuff. It works really good because it gives a little insulation. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, you're looking nice. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and flip just like that. Flip the burgers, and we'll flip the chicken as well. Oh yeah, beautiful color. Look at that. That is nice, y'all. Yes, sir. All right, we'll put the chicken too. All right, y'all. I'm about to take the temp in my thermal pan in there and uh, see what kind of temp we're looking at. Um, how close to done this stuff is. It didn't take long. I tell you what, these char hickory pellets get it. 136, 138 on the burger. Got done on the burger. Looks like I'm done on the chicken. Test another piece. Yeah. Let the chicken go a little bit longer. Yeah, say 145 or something on that thicker piece. So if that goes, take this little thin piece. Go back over here. I know it's done. Alright. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the chicken off. I'm pretty sure it's done now. Um, but, uh, bam, bam. Okay, it smells great. Let me get the chicken off here. Juicy, juicy. And the burgers, probably just be a few more minutes on them, y'all. I want y'all to give this chicken a try. It looks really good. And, uh, you can tell with his rub, man. He's got like a... This is rosemary, everything all in the chicken. Delicious looking chicken. Super spot, I mean super hot temperature wise right now. Alright. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. Juicy, juicy chicken too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right, I'm about to get the turkey burgers off. I just put some of that smoked Gouda cheese. That cheese that I smoked on the turkey burgers. I'm just letting it melt. Let's see if y'all can see that. Oh, yeah. They look wonderful. I ready to get them off. I know that one's done. Oh, yeah. Those are nice right there. Some good burgers.